Hey everybody, Dr. Wenzel here. I wanted to make this quick video for you as part one of a multi-part series all about cholesterol. Today's video is all about dietary cholesterol. And if you stop this video within the next five seconds, I want you to know the following. Dietary cholesterol has little to zero effect on your total serum cholesterol levels. You heard me right. What you're eating in the form of dietary cholesterol has virtually no effect on your total serum levels. Actually, the fact that this is still a debate and that I need to make this video to clarify is still surprising to me. But nonetheless, I really wanna quiet the noise and clear the air on this topic. But listen, this topic is not without complexity. It is not without um, well-intended people who are meaning well, but who are just confused. And I think the confusion really lies in the fact that Cholesterol lives on a spectrum of realities. On one hand, it is completely essential for life. With no cholesterol, you have no life. Every cell in the human body makes it. Every cell in the human body has a cell membrane. And every cell membrane is made up primarily of cholesterol. It makes our sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen and others. Yet on the other end of this spectrum of reality is that it's clearly involved, at least in part, in heart attacks and strokes. Now, our understanding of its involvement is where a whole nother layer of confusion and misunderstanding and really the vast majority of healthcare providers who are behind the times with data and science, 10, 12 years, that is very clear about how we should look at that. And that'll be a future video, we're gonna dig into that. But today about dietary cholesterol not impacting your levels of cholesterol at all are really rooted in the fact that we make cholesterol and we eat cholesterol. What we make is in the form of free. Free cholesterol is the form of cholesterol that we make. All cells make it. We make it, we store it, we excrete it, we recycle it, or we use it. Greater than 90% of all the cholesterol in your serum is because of cholesterol that you made, not because of cholesterol you ate. Here's why. Cholesterol that you eat only comes from animal-based products, so the animal or its byproduct. Now, plants have a cholesterol-like molecule, but that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is cholesterol that you and I know. It only comes from animal-based products. Virtually all of that cholesterol is not in the free form, which is the form that we use. It's the form that we absorb. It's the form that we excrete. It's the form that we utilize. Nearly all of the cholesterol that we consume through animal-based dietary intake is in the form of what we call esterification. It doesn't matter that you know what that is. What you need to know is we can't absorb that form. We don't have a mechanism to have absorb esterified cholesterol. Now. In extreme situations when we do need it, and that is the only mode for us to get it, we can do it. We deesterify it, which takes energy and is not efficient, especially when in the gut you've got all of this recycled free cholesterol that we just dumped into the gut through the biliary system, your bile system, that is readily available should we need it. So in the event that we needed to absorb it at all and we wanted to make an argument that, yeah, it does influence it, it would have to compete with a free form which is the abundance of cholesterol in your gut. So even in the most extreme situations, there is very little reason to even focus on dietary cholesterol restriction if you have a primary strategy of risk reduction because of atherosclerosis, for atherosclerosis as it pertains to cholesterol. I hope this video really helps, uh, but another take home point really quick before you leave is that this is a very complex and grossly misunderstood topic. There is no limit to the amount of confusion around this, when really this particular debate within the world of cholesterol, which I will admit is unbelievably, com it's stunningly complex, this is not complex. This is not debatable. The cholesterol that you're eating is not affecting your total levels. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is part one of what I think will be a three or four part series all about cholesterol, where I want to quiet a lot of the noise and give you exactly what you need to know in order to assess your risk for cardiovascular disease as it pertains to cholesterol. I hope to see you in the next video.
Take care.